Hi everyone, Jen here today with you for Country Craft Creations. And today I am excited to present my uh, newest project, which is a fun little baby album using um, a collection from Echo Park. It's called It's a Girl. There's also a It's a Boy collection that is just as equally cute. Um, I do not have any of the 12 by 12 collection left uh, because I did use it on the album. Um, this time I made an 8 by 8 album rather than a normal, uh, for me, 6 by 6 uh, to try something a little different. But as you can see, this paper is just absolutely um, adorable. I've also used um, one of the shaker domes from, uh, I believe it's Sizzix that makes these. And these are available at Country Craft Creations. And inside of there, I've used the Buttons Galore and more sparklets. And these, one are, these ones are called Daddy's Little Girl, um, also from Country Craft Creations. There are some 49 and Market flowers on here. Um, some aqua ribbon that I had in my stash. I've also used for this um, an entire collection of the 12 by 12 as well as um, an additional page of a single 12 by 12 sheet of this. This is the flip side here that you see on the cover. Um, and I also used a pack of the coordinating solids. So keep that in mind if you're making this album. Um, it does require quite a bit of paper. Um, I've used some of the chipboard brads and some of the uh, chipboard itself. There's some of the ephemera pack, the tags in here um, on the the binding of my album here on the spine, I have uh, one of those chipboards, some of the brads, and on the back we have um, one of the ephemera pieces from the ephemera pack. So let's dive inside and I will show you this album. Again, this measures eight by eight. The cover, back, and spine, uh, those were all matted using the solids, the coordinating solids. Uh, the pages on the inside are not matted, um, but the, the, the matting on the cover, which was done in the lay flat method, um, is done with seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths, um, the coordinating solids for my mats. So let's just dive inside here and I will show you what I have created. So uh, going forward in my tutorial, I will show you some of the pages, how I put them together, um, as well as at the end, um, we've had some really bad weather in Oregon, um, as some people may have heard and some of you may even be from Oregon. Um, and I've lost power in my house several times when I was trying to create uh, the video tutorial for this. So there's a couple things missing um, and I will put them in at the end. I have a fun little um, sliding belly band mechanism, as you can see here. And I will put one together uh, with another paper collection to show you that at the end. So inside of here, uh, when I first created this, this had this coral colored dark pink spine system and for the pages. And it did not fit properly, so I had to remove it. But by removing that, I came up with this idea to cover um, the paper with a, another pocket on the side here. And I will show how to do those in my tutorial. Inside here, I just have some fun photo mats. Um, photo mats are very simple to make. Uh, you just take some of your paper once you've created your album, uh, paper that you have left over, or you can create them as you go. Uh, back them with a regular cardstock uh, that coordinates, and you can do these in many sizes and shapes. Um, I just made a bunch of them and stuck them in. I have two in this pocket. I lined the sides of my pockets here with the gold colored uh, solids, some strips that I had left over, and some of the stickers from the sticker collection. Sticker here, uh, there's a sticker here. Now this first page is quite unique. Um, I did this as I went and I do show this in my tutorial how I created this. So you have this picture um, mat here and then there's one that slides out here, one of the little stickers. And this is also fairly easy to do if you want to use up your stickers. To use these as poles, I just put them on the paper on my photo mat 
back them with some paper and then fussy cut around it. And that gives us this not sticky uh, back. And then this also serves as a tuck spot for this photo mat. So essentially you have a pocket, a place for a photo mat, and then you can also place another photo mat on the front or just slide a photo or a memento in there. And I just love that. So next we have that sliding belly band that I was speaking of. So I have another photo mat here and that slides in there. And I love this little, I used a piece of the chipboard um, and this is just on a paper hinge. And as you can see, it slides back and forth. So if you have a picture in here, you can place this on the middle of the picture, the side of the picture. Um, it's just a fun little added. And I have two of those in my album. Uh, this page here is a corner pocket. And it has, again, some photo masks. This is one of the stickers. This is one of the stickers. And this is a pocket page, which again, um, I show these in my tutorial. Also, all of the pages in here are seven and a half by seven and a half. This is a pocket page. So we have two pocket pages, three regular pages. And here we have a large photo mat that pulls out of that pocket. Again, using the sticker backed with paper for my tab. And then on this page here, I've used one of the larger uh, four by six journaling card page from the collection. And I've put it on here as a tuck spot and added a couple photo mats. Uh, again, using stickers as tabs. It's very cute. On this page, we have another corner pocket going this direction, place for photo mats. And you could probably fit two or three in here. I have two, uh, but I think you could probably fit three because this is a hinged pocket. Here we have another side pocket and place for more photo mats. You could put a lot of photo mats in this album style. I, I just love that. Uh, one of the stickers there and here. This is a fun little flip up page. So the back is the solid um, dark pink, they call it. And you could put a photo there um, and then this just lays down. You could put a clip on this. And this is our second pocket page. So we have another large photo mat. This page here, oh, I got a little wrinkle. Um, I've used one of the three by four journaling cards from that page and made a little tuck spot by gluing just around the corners here. And then we have the photo mat that floats and then this photo mat is stuck down. So you essentially could journal on this one, put the picture there. This is one of the ephemera pieces attached with score tape just at the top as a tuck spot for a couple more photo mats. And back here, we have another of the four by six pocket system. Uh, this is just glued around these three sides and very thinly to make, um, turn it into a tuck spot. This one is another sliding belly band. And I have two photo mats underneath of that one, a very small one. And then this one is actually attached to the page. And this is our side pocket. Now this page here, this has a half page system on the back. So we have a smaller photo mat here that slides out sideways. And then on the back, we have this fun vertical waterfall. I didn't want to just put a pocket here, so just a flat pocket, so I added it as this type of pocket. I thought that looked um, nicer. And there are uh, five pages of the vertical waterfall, and I will show in my tutorial um, how to create this. And then our back page, again, is another pocket. One of the stickers, this is a sticker border. 
And then we have another foot mat. There's that yellow stripe with some, um, they call it gold, with some stickers to embellish. So that is my album in its entirety, um, front to back. Again, it is eight by eight. We have three seven and a half by seven and a half double-sided pages here and two seven and a half by seven and a half pocket pages, also double-sided um, with a spot for a uh, photo mat with a tab. So let me just show you a few things on um, some of the pages and how I created the, the pocket pages. Okay, so now we have our cover and our inside lining along with our um, spine system here for our pages. And when I um, put my spine on, I did this uh, kind of wonky. And as you can see, I had to move it. Uh, there's a little bit of paper tearing going on here. However, um, mistakes can sometimes be a blessing in disguise when creating things like mini albums because it gave me the idea to add some extra um, pockets to this piece and i'm just going to make sure there's no glue um, left in here that's going to stick to um, the flap of my pocket when i place it down so we're going to make these pockets that i'm going to put on the back and the front to add a nice large um, photo mat and I'm using the pink from the tan and pink solids um, it's a girl paper and I have two pieces that are eight and seven eighths by five and a half and I'm going to place them down and we're going to use the pink side up um, you could do the tan as well if that is um, what you prefer I need to grab my bone folder here somehow I got in the wrong spot so we are going to score this, place this on here at the um, eight and seven eighths mark, score at one half of an inch, and we're going to flip it around, score all the way across that bottom there at one half of an inch. And then we're going to do this again and score on the other side at one half of an inch. And then I'm just going to take scissors. And I am going to miter those corners right at the intersection of my score lines, not going over that bottom corner. So then I'm just going to uh, burnish those down with my bone folder. All right. And then I'm going to add score tape. You can also do this with glue. I am just going to add some glue down here on the corners. Peel off all that tape and then just bring your book in, your cover, and we will start with this back one. I'm going to turn mine lengthwise because I want my pocket to face out this direction and I am just going to grab a hold of this and put this right, not all the way to the edge, Kind of line it up with your green paper on both sides and I would I'm going to leave about an eighth of an inch of the white um, accordion spine piece showing maybe a little bit more and that way my pocket comes all the way out and I'm just going to burnish all that down and that's going to give us this nice little side pocket here and you um, I'll probably cut a circle out of this one uh, for a notch so that it's a little easier to work with. Go ahead and do my scoring on the other pocket for the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and show you, I'll do that one um, a little bit later, but I like to use the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board for my um, notches in my pockets. And the reason for that is because, as you can see, it lines up so nicely. Um, knowing that this is a seven and seven eighths, approximately eight inch pocket, um, you can take this, place it almost to that four, 
and know that you're going to punch almost directly in the middle of the page for that notch. Get all of my score tape off of here. And then I'm just going to add glue again to those bottom portions uh, of the corners just to make sure that I get a good adherence. And I'm going to put my book here. And like I said, you can see there where I um, had to remove my spine once and put it back on. But this is a great way to cover that little accident. Burnish that down nicely. And we have another fun pocket. So now we have a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back that you can place things. Okay, so next we're going to move on to doing some of the decorating of the papers. And um, then we'll place them, the pages, and then I'll place them in the album. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make our fun little um, side pocket pages. And these are great and very simple to make. So two out of our five pages will be these. Uh, when they're assembled, they are seven and a half by seven and a half. Uh, so what you need for this is one sheet of paper that is eight inches by eight and a half inches and one that is seven and a half by seven and a half. So set the seven and a half by seven and a half aside and we will take the eight by eight and a half Put it on our scoreboard at the eight and a half mark and we are going to score uh, one half of an inch on this side and then score in at the eight so that you get the half an inch on that side. Then what you want to do is turn it to the eight and then do one half of an inch across the bottom. We're not going to score the top. That's going to actually be uh, the top portion of our pocket. Then we just want to take our scissors and miter these bottom corners right at uh, the cross lines of our scoreboard or score marks. I'm going to fold and burnish these lines. These uh, pocket pages are, like I said, extremely simple to make. You can make these in any size. Um, just keep in mind that you will need a half of an inch on all three sides of po one, your pocket. So you have your opening at the top. So make whatever size you want to make uh, one half inch bigger than your main page. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add glue to these flaps. You can also use score tape if you prefer. I am just going to use glue for the sake of video. It's a little quicker. And then I'm going to put it on my scoreboard almost all the way up uh, to make sure. I think I'm going to turn it sideways. It might be a little easier. And then I'm going to take my seven and a half by seven and a half sheet. I'm going to flip it so you don't see that. And we're going to just place this right down. And get our corner up in there onto those edges. And it will try to get a little squirrely on you, at least mine is. Um, but these are, like I said, fairly uh, simple. And we're just going to smooth all the paper out on those edges. Go ahead and burnish everything down. And there we have our pocket. So I'm going to take the uh, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. If you have one of these, um, these are great for making your notches in your pockets. If you don't have one of these, you can use a corner or a, a circle punch and just do around. If you have some other kind, that works as well. The cool thing about this is that we know that this is seven and a half inches and half of seven and a half is three and three quarters. So you can actually take your envelope here Line it right up at that three and three quarter mark and punch 
and we know that our notch is directly in the middle of our pocket now. So that is the pocket and I will show you how to decorate the rest of the album. So for the first page, which is our regular, we have three regular pages and then two pocket pages. So the regular page um, is white cardstock that measures seven and a half by seven and a half. And then I've taken this one with the fun little mobiles all over it. And this will be at seven and three eighths by seven and three eighths. And we are just going to add that to the page. Burnish that down. And like I said, this is a fairly um, simple album. I'm not going to uh, be too crazy with flips and flaps on this one. Um, for the next portion of this, I have a reverse of this and this is just going to get placed around the middle of the page and I am going to place it down so that it can be um, something can stick in it. So we're just going to add score tape around these three edges and I'm going to use the skinnier score tape which will give me more um, space and get right up to um, that edge. Again, leave the top portion open, one of the longer sides. Okay. And then I am just going, and you can do this with glue as well. Just going to go around, and I see that I have a little tiny bit hanging over, um, and I don't want that. So I am going to... Cut that off, and I will tell you that this piece that I cut, it's the reverse of uh, this paper with the stripes, and this measures four and a half by six, and then I've rounded all of the corners. So we're just gonna remove our score tape here. So we're just gonna place this with the opening on this side. And right around the middle, not quite, leave a little more on the bottom than the top. Line that up and then we will just press all of that down, burnish down those score tape pieces. And that will give us this fun little tuck spot. And then we're just going to take this fun little journaling card and I'm gonna grab my crocodile and I am going to, at the half inch mark, I'm just going to round those corners. Okay, so now you have this fun little card here. And we don't want to adhere this anywhere but right around this edge here, just across the bottom. So you can still slip something under it and you can use it as a tuck spot as well. So this is a little trickier, but what we're going to do is we're just going to put a piece of score tape right along the bottom of this. And I'm gonna use a little bit thicker score tape. So this is 3 8 of an inch. And I am just going to place it right across that bottom portion. And I'm going to line this up, make sure that I don't um, get it too far over. So we want it to be a tuck spot, but we need to see where this ends. So I'm gonna grab just a scrap piece of paper and I'm gonna stick it in here so I know where this will line up. And then I can take this and place it across that corner and I know that I'll still be able to slide something underneath of there. Super simple. So that is one page that is done. This is page one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my score tape down on this spine piece, this hinge. 
right at the edge, top edge of the hinge, so that scored portion. We don't want to put it down by the actual fold. I'm going to put it all the way at the top. And now I can take my page and line that up with that score line should be the same size go out about an eighth of an inch and you can use spacers um, for this if you want to make sure it's exact and there we have our first page okay so for the back side we have a double um, stacked page and this is going to be a piece of the floral, which has the pink on the back with the hearts uh, that measures. Again, we have our seven and three eighths. And this will be this piece is four and five eighths of an inch tall and we'll go on the top. Then we have our seven and three eighths of our green and white plaid. And that is three and an eighth inches tall. So first I'm going to add the floral portion, which is the top of the page. And we're just going to get that all nice and neat, all nice and burnished, especially along um, your hinge system. And then we'll grab our other piece, which is the green and white plaid. And we will add that right over the top and it will overlap. And that is what I'm going for. You can measure it out differently if you do not want it to overlap. Um, and we will probably be putting a border strip uh, down the middle of that as the decorating of the album progresses. Get that all nice and burnished. So there we have our side one and side two of page one. Next, we're going to have a pocket page to decorate. And let me just grab that. Okay, so for our second pocket or page, this one is a pocket page, which I showed you how to create. And I have um, notched this paper out just like the pocket. And I'm just going to... Um, I could do this and this is the side uh, I'm going to use the side with the green light green background and the darker green stars super cute and then I've already placed my score tape on my hinge and pulled the backing off and we just want to line this up to the bottom of that score tape and then just go ahead and burnish that down onto the page, your hinge. So there's our first pocket page. And then we will go ahead and back this uh, with another cardstock. So now I'm gonna take the yellow solid uh, that is from the sheet uh, in the solids of the green and gold, it's gold. And I'm gonna adhere the gold side. I've also notched this to match the notched pocket. So next, I have added score tape to these so I can do the rest of these pages with you. And I've done the first side of this one in this adorable animal print. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to place that on my hinge system here. Grab something to remove my score tape. It's sticking. And there we have that. Next, we will add the paper to this. And I have score tape here just so that when I put this down, it's a little bit easier um, to adhere to the hinge. Sometimes the hinges 
um, are a little bit harder to add paper to. And um, I want to make sure that this goes on nice and neat. So I have the um, baby safety pins for this one. Okay, so to this page, I'm going to add a little pocket element, and I'm going to use the um, green paper. I'm just going to grab my scoreboard here, and this piece of paper measures eight and a half by four and a half, and I'm going to score it on the eight and a half at one half of an inch, and then I'm going to score it right at eight inches, which is going to bring it in at half an inch and then across the bottom. Just like we did the pockets on the covers, this is exactly the same. I'm gonna miter those at the intersection of our score lines. And burnish our corners down. And this is just gonna be another fun little pocket um, to another page. And we will add some more uh, decorating to this as we go along. So this is going to fit right on the side here. I'm going to go ahead and notch this out. And I know that my pocket is now seven and a half inches. So I want three and three quarters inches to have a middle punched out with my notch. And then I'm just going to use glue to adhere this. You can also do this with score tape. Just get the glue on your half inch tabs. And then I am going to place this down right at the edge of that paper. So that it goes right at the edge of my pocket. Make sure everything turns still, which it does nicely. And we are going to move on to our next page. And this is going to be another pocket page. For this pocket page, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we have the fun little kids. Um, clothing items on one side and that will be this side this is our back side I'm gonna go ahead and glue that in all to up here okay so now I'm gonna add the front side of my pocket and that is going to be done um, in a two-piece again and I've already put my notches in and I am just going to line that up as well as I can with that notch. And then our second piece is this fun pink color. And that has also been, it's the flip side of our uh, little clothing items. We're just going to line that right up to that other piece right at the edge of that notch and down. So now you have those two pages. I have one more page left to create and that will be uh, another regular page, not a pocket page. And it will also have the fun um, two page, but we're gonna put this on this side which is just the, this is the solid pink. It has the floral on the back and the small hearts all over the paper. Okay, that all nice and lined up. Burnish it all down. And then flip it over. Make sure when you flip, when you have a pattern, just a quick tip I learned by making many mistakes, that when you flip that you're going to see the right direction of your paper. So for this one, we're going to use this mobile paper again. And this is going to be a half page um, with that plaid again on the bottom. 
pull off our score tape here. Okay, now on this back here, I have a piece of score tape because I'm going to add um, a sideways waterfall to this and I wanted to do it directly on the hinge. So I will um, be back to show you um, how I did that and then I will uh, get this decorated. Okay, so now I'm going to put together this fun little extra waterfall page system in the back. And how I'm going to do that is I have taken a piece of the white cardstock, uh, six and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So it's six and a half wide, seven and a half long. And then I've taken a piece of scrap of the pink with the little spotted uh, flowers on there, cut an inch strip by the seven and a half inches long, scored it at one half, placed half of it on the page, and then left this other half. And this is going to become the page that is our um, fun little waterfall feature in the back. And I'm just going to score that down. And I'm going to adhere these fun pages. Um, each one of the pages measures seven inches by four and a half. And it's scored down one side at half an inch, which will become our um, place for our waterfall. So I'm just going to grab my glue. You could do this with score tape as well. I'm just going to grab some glue and place it on that flap there. I'm not going to go too crazy with it. And then I just want to butt this up right to the top portion of that half inch and right in the middle of the page. Try to have equal amounts of that pink showing. And then I'm just going to burnish that down to the page. Okay, so there's page one. And then the next page is going to be a solid. And I've chosen the um, coral. And now the rest of them will be very simple. Um, if you just line them up with the last one. And I always, when I make waterfalls, press down in the middle and then close to make sure that my pages are actually lining up just to be safe. So now, as you can see, we have this fun little page system for these lovely little sideways photos you can put in here. And I just think that is so cute. I have a little sticking issue on this one. Then this is just going to go on our final page spine here and I'm just going to peel off that score tape from there. I'm going to actually erase my mark here and this will get covered with paper but I just want to erase that. So now we have this added fun little waterfall and I will cover this with paper as well as this will become a pocket underneath and that will be um, this extra page okay so now we're going to decorate that back side of our waterfall page and I have taken um, some of the lighter green and I cut that down to six and three eighths uh, by three and a quarter and I've corner rounded that top corner so that it matches with our page and then I've taken a piece of the bottle uh, in that six and three eighths and it is uh, four and four and three quarters tall four and 
I'm sorry, four and five eighths. And then the piece that was cut off of this that I had left over, I'm also going to use, which is a strip of the uh, coral color in six and three eighths. And it is an inch and a quarter wide. So I'm first going to adhere the top portion, which is the lighter um, mint color. And now another page is decorated. Now all we have left on this is to place a pocket down here, and it's basically uh, just going to be a pocket that you can slide things into. Okay, so now we have a piece of the dark pink, and this measures eight and a half by four and seven eighths, and I have scored that at one half of an inch down both sides, so one half, and then I'm going to score in at eight, which is another half inch on the end, and then a half an inch across the bottom. And I'm just going to grab some scissors and I am going to cut at the intersection just to miter those corners. Get rid of any excess. Go ahead and fold those down. And your corners should meet nicely, but they should not overlap. If they overlap a little, um, like these do just a tad bit, it makes your uh, pocket corners a little bulky. So just go in, trim off a little bit more, and you will have a much less bulky pocket. So for this, I'm going to use score tape. And I'm just going to run that score tape right down the middle of this pocket or excuse me, of this flap. And I will be putting glue on the corners for added strength as well as the score tape does not um, always go all the way to the corners. Okay, so we have that. Now we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to those corners where there's no tape. And then bring in your book. Burnish all of that down. Now this is going to go here, so I'm going to flip my book this way so that I can see this easier. Make sure that's in the camera for you to see as well. I'm going to peel off my backing of my score tape. And then this pocket is going to be upside down now, but it won't be once we have it in the page. This will be a side pocket. So just go all the way to where you can see the white just barely on the edge here. You want to make sure that this meets the edge of the white, but we want to be able to turn this really well. So you don't want your this to go up to that score line. You just want it like so. And then I'm going to go in, once I secure my score tape down on all of those lines, I'm going to go in with my crocodile at the half inch, and I'm just going to miter that corner so that it matches. Oops. And now it matches nicely, and you have this fun little place to put stuff. Just an added little tuck spot there. And you could um, notch this out if you prefer. I'm going to put something in there that sticks out so it's all right to have that showing. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make these fun little sliding belly bands. And rather than do it with a whole different collection, I'm just going to pull my book out here and I'm going to add a second one to this page. So what you need for this is a strip of solid paper, whatever paper color that you want to put um, on here. I'm going to use the same color that I already have here, which is the green. And this measures one inch by seven and three eighths of an inch, the same as our paper. Then you need another little piece that you can wrap around this, which will be our sliding hinge, and then one of your chipboards. So what you wanna do is take that uh, one inch by seven and three eighths inch piece and wrap this piece of extra, um, I just use scraps, around there. You line it up so that you know it will still slide and then we just want to trim this out on one side, the side that is longest. I'm just gonna clip that off of there and flip it back over to the yellow side and fold it. And you just wanna make sure that this still will move before you remove it off of the paper. So take that off of the paper, add some glue to the back of that hinge where it meets so that it will fold over. I'm just gonna put the glue here. You can see that. And once you have that adhered, put glue on the side here that is uh, where it's folded. You don't want that up against your paper because then it won't slide as easy. And then just take your chipboard Place it so that the holes are on either side. And you can also put your sliding um, piece in here first and then add your chipboard. We're just going to add that like that. Take your longer piece, slide that in that little hinge. I had mine upside down. I'm sorry for that. Make sure that it slides nicely. You can see how that's done. And then just add some glue to the very ends of that longer bar. And then we're just gonna place it down and I'm gonna put this one towards the bottom. And once you have that lined up, push that down. And as you can see, we have another fun little sliding belly band. Super cute. So that is the end of my tutorial. Again, I um, hope you've enjoyed this and that you make a fun little album like this. This can be done with any paper collection available. Um, I'm sure I will make more of these fun belly bands and um, these little sliding mechanisms are just so fun. So have a wonderful crafty day.